Hi everyone, Sylvia here from Rock the Cradle. I have a question for you. Have you exercised today? Now my question is geared to pregnant ladies. Uh, today's topic revolves around three exercises that you can start any time during your pregnancy. Now I know it's not something we always want to hear about. Our doctors may ask us or they may not. Uh, you read it in the books that we should be exercising. I'm not pregnant and I find it sometimes hard to exercise. Uh, but why do we need to be exercising? Well, uh, for a few reasons. Avoiding aches and pains. As your pregnancy progresses and you get that lovely round belly, well, there's extra weight there and the joint pain, aches in the hips, groin pain. Uh, it can keep those pains at bay uh, by doing stretching and uh, just keeping limber. Uh, keeping your weight down is a that's a really hot topic in our prenatal classes how to not gain too much weight uh, there's always a range depending on uh, what our actual weight is and how much we should be gaining but the you know if you can keep it within that range and not go too much over well you'll have an easier time of it after after you give birth uh, and it comes off and you get back into shape uh, quicker now that's another point keeping in shape the better shape you're in during your pregnancy, well, that just continues on and your birth, during your birth, uh, you may find it easier to be in different positions, uh, squatting and being on the bed and walking, getting in the bath, out of the bath, etc. So what are these three exercises? Uh, number one, yoga classes. You can start yoga classes at any time. You don't have to be in shape. You want to start them at 35 weeks, there's a great class in your neighborhood, go take the class. Uh, why? Well, they teach you a, a lot of great things uh, revolving, you know, labor. They are prenatal yoga classes, so they're geared to the pregnant, uh, pregnant people. Uh, you'll do lots of stretching, uh, doing lots of meditation, great visualizations. You will talk a lot about birth as well and you'll learn a lot about birth. So it's a great compliment to any prenatal classes as well. Uh, as well, you get to do it with other, other women who are pregnant. So you can create that circle, your village of uh, other mom, other mom friends uh, that you may not have in other circles. Number two, swimming. You can swim at any time. Now, that's a great exercise. I remember taking some aqua jogging and aqua fit classes and even just floating, you feel weightless. It's so lovely because especially in your third trimester and close to birth, you're big, you feel heavy. Well, in the water, you're just so light, except when you get out, then you have to, then you really feel uh, the extent of what your body is doing, growing a tiny human. Uh, last but not least, one of my favorites, and I tell all my clients, walking. Keep walking. Walk everywhere you can. It's free. All you need is a good pair of shoes. Uh, I know in the winter when it's snow, it's not as, uh, not as easy, but now spring is on the way. Get those shoes on. Do some walking. Little 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here. You can do that any old time, and it's a great way later on to get your birth going as well. So, that's it for today. Get out there, get moving, move that DNA, get healthy, be healthy, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Bye.